I think I'll start a GoFundMe page for a new sweatshirt because uh, this one cost me like $300,000. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, I got going again this morning. It uh, did not take long. We're starting to pick up a little bit of dust here and there. But uh, the stubble's dried out, so it's falling through a little better. This is one of our best yielding uh, dirt fields last year, so we have some spots in the sloughs where there's lots of uh, straw that came out of the back of the combine on top of the ground because it was really green and tough. It didn't chop real well, so most spots got a little bit of some straw budging going on, but the rain's are coming, they say. This weekend could finally be a good shot of rain. Well, we are getting right down there on fertilizer. 300 pounds, middle tank two is empty. Tank three has got three, 400 pounds in it if I need to, to get to the end. Almost there. Didn't quite make it, about 150 yards short of the end of the field. Well, I got a blockage, so let's see what it is because it's uh, almost lunchtime too. It's number 39. Keeps plugging on me. It'll be working, then it's plugged, and then it's working without stopping. Gotta be something stuck inside there. There it is. Stuck a fertilizer. Just perfect size. Still lets the fertilizer get past it once in a while, and now it won't. Need my dinner date? Yep, lunch. Sport, <laughs> sporting the one and only Welker fast egg sweatshirt in the world. My socks match my outfit, I just noticed too. Oh, that's nice. Coordinated. Socks and croc sandals in the field. <laughs> Safety first. Best part about being close to the yard seat, hot lunch in the tractor. I thought you were going to say me with you in the tractor. This is like the second time you rode with me. I know. <laughs> That's boring. But that is... You're, you're not boring. boring. This is boring. Well, Dad's been spraying all morning. He's gonna go grab me some more fertilizer, and then it's uh, time to fill the drill again. Already.
Well, I just finished this 80, finished this 250 before that. We got a 300 done at the yard, a 320 at the yard done, and that's a lot more acres than I can add up real quick while I'm on the spot here. But we have another quarter, a half section, so that's 160 and a 300 with a yard out of it, and a 40, and another quarter section. So 200, 360, 900 acres left here. Does that seem right? No, that seems too high. Uh, we're getting there. Got that field done, two more to go. Got about 140 acres on one field and I think roughly around 200 on the next. Well, on the final pass, one more field done. Morning. Yep. Smells like rain. Well, at least that's what the weatherman thinks. Could get a good rain shot this weekend, so uh, got a little canola. I'll just see it around home here before that. So, Colin's getting some fertilizer in the truck before uh, he heads off, and I'm gonna go get some seed. Hammer down. can't believe I noticed that. That'd be a bad day for a tire. Especially when it lined up with a cart just like that. The thing about the sprayer monitor I wanted to show you the other day was... Wait a minute. This isn't the sprayer. I was just in the sprayer yesterday. Ah, this is the roller tractor. I get to roll today. So this is used to push rocks in the ground and level out the dirt a little bit for when we're uh, combining, keep from picking up rocks, and we do have rocks. I got to the end of the field and noticed we got a fertilizer leak up there, but I saw something stuck to an opener when the opener is picked up. Oh, jackpot! Wonder how old that thing is. The things you find in the field, stuck to an opener. Pretty crazy. Well, I'm out of uh, hose patch things. Splits. A hose split? I don't know what we call it. So, go back to the other end and take the service pick and haul and go get some more. I'm, I'm thinking about. Uh getting a new sweatshirt. I think this one's about ready to uh, retire. Maybe I could sell it on eBay. I think these millennials buy uh, clothes with holes in them. Make people think they work. I think I'll start a GoFundMe page for a new sweatshirt because uh, this one cost me like $300,000 and they threw in a used combine. Well, maybe that should be enough to rest last. Well, that should be enough to last the rest of the year. Another great use for uh, this grain bag tape for patching holes. Works great for air drill hoses too. Doing the final pass on the final field for this farm. Time to move back to the farm, the main farm. In rural water, parked a little point here. And this is, uh, this guy's been parking on the road for the last few days. Main intersections and all over. Always in the way. Maybe you hear me if I honk my horn. Well, oh, his brake lights came on.
truthfully chicken, I think I'd lose. Here's the project, We're putting this main pipeline in along the highway. Oh, looks like it's the sheriff. Police. Well, that does that farm. Done. it up ready to go but Warren radioed me and uh, said they're, they're doing some water pipeline up on this road and they're moving equipment so I'm gonna run up there and see what's happening and make sure I can get by without having to back up because that thing's not very easy to back up so let's go see what's happening well, it looks like they're all moved over here so it looks like I'm good to go I might just have to tell them I'm coming let them know that I'm coming Time to start my journey home. I think it takes an hour, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Cruising right along, 162 acres in already. Gonna be filling here in a couple rounds. The wind's really picking up, getting blowing dust like crazy right now and we're starting to get a blue sky to the west pick up another gear we're seeding at uh, 5.4 normally we plant the canola at five mile an hour Not everything else we plant at six but uh, the storm's coming pick it up a little bit got pulled up by the conveyor here I grab my mic cord Go. Just a mile left. I can see the farm. It's right over there. Almost there. Made it back to the farm. Um, got the brank of air underneath my seed tank. I got about 2,000 pounds of seed left in there. That needs to come out. So I'm gonna conveyor it out and put it in the blue semi. That way I can switch to a different seed, which I don't know what that is yet. I think it's hemp, but I'm not 100% sure. next field that's 350 acres for the day so far for this drill another 150 maybe before the rain gets here that's the plan all right got my outside round done already on this field last one of the day it all show me oh yeah there we go gonna start on this east edge work my way back and finish up by the main road oh I got a something plugged on run 80 where is dad at by now? Oh, looks like he's about done rolling. About another half hour and he should be moving that thing home and we got all the rolling done. Planting the last field of canola here at home. It is, oh, I don't know what time it is. 
9 o'clock and they're saying rain by 1 in the morning so they got about a little less than three hours worth of seeding to do and this field should be done and that should work out perfect. So it's about 9.35 and I've been in this tractor since I think 9.35 this morning. Last field of peas that need to be rolled and uh, chance of rain tonight which would be a blessing. Things are pretty dry. Most of our crop we put in so, <clears throat> so far has uh, gotten into wet dirt. There's not much moisture there, but most of it is sprouting. So this, I've got a little bit left. That's the edge of the field where that tail is. I've got one, two, three, four passes, and maybe, maybe a sliver left. So, make a turn on the end, slow down a little bit, haha, there's the edge of the field. I make way better turns when I'm not on camera. I have to get done by 10 because uh, the only radio station I get down in this hole, which is in a valley, is uh, SCOBY. And they go off the air at 10. Just past the 100 acre mark on this field. Got a little old yard taken out of it, so it's less than 160. And uh, going about 50 acres an hour and 50 acres to go and the storm's about an hour and a half away. So, it's gonna be really close. Can we do it in time? Well, Dad called, uh, in his words, major oil leak. So, I got some bad news. I didn't get done. A major oil leak under the tractor, under the cab somewhere. And I had a mile and a half to go to finish. And uh, can't run the tractor to see where the leak is. Don't know sure what, not sure what we'll do. Dee Dee is coming to get me. I'll have to wait for about a half hour for her to get here. So I guess I'll sit in the tractor and guess what? Got no radio station. It is 10.02 on a brighter side. Now that the lights are on the tractor, you can't see it, but I see lightning off in the Southwest. Hope it rains, and this tractor might be sitting here for a few few days. That's farming. Last little bit of the field before my flip pass, but uh, it's raining. Just started. Do I risk it? Because uh, we can make a mess out of those fertilizer towers with moisture. Oh, I don't know what to do. I think this is it. I get the end of the field and uh, take the drill back home. Not quite done. I gotta go all the way around the outside here. Should have got up a half hour earlier. We had it done. Somebody's watching me, wondering how I'm doing. Well, this looks like a good enough parking spot. Wing it down and let it rain off. Been off all my dust for the last few days. Can't decide which boots to put on. These boots and these boots. Really good blessing. We needed it. Thanks for all of those that have been praying. Well, I suppose uh, we should maybe put the sprayer and uh, spray truck in. I was not expecting it to get uh, cold and snow. We know we were supposed to get moisture. We were all praying it was going to actually come. And it came. But it's getting cold, so we better uh, get some stuff put inside before it gets uh, too cold. Predicted low tonight of 31 degrees, and right now it's about 33 degrees. And it's supposed to get down to 24 degrees, either tomorrow night or Monday night. This is Saturday. So I'm going to go 
and uh, drain a pump or two or three. I have to get the sprayer put in the shop and also the uh, spray trailer with the dash on it. We need to go in the shop. And look there, there's water on the treater. So that might have to be drained too. So we had one year we had uh, peas in the ground and it was, uh, they were sprouted fairly good and we got 20 below zero cold cold spell came through and it actually froze the ground about an inch inch to two inches deep but the peas survived and made a crop that year so rid of half an inch once I push the snow down in there. This is awesome. This by no means takes us out of our drought situation we're in as far as like the weather service says we're in a drought, but uh, this is a huge blessing. Huge, huge blessing. It's like water sitting in the yard, so huge answer to prayers. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. Thank God for the rain. The snow I mean. It started raining last night, now it's snow.